There are five main stages in the production of malt whiskey. Malting, mashing, fermentation, distillation and maturation. There are three main ingredients in malt whiskey, barley, yeast and water. The first part of the process is malting. This is taking wet barley, laying it out on a warehouse floor and bringing it to the point of germination by regularly turning the barley over. The barley is then dried over kilns to stop the germination at the point where there is the most starch present in the barley. Then the barley is heated in water to turn the starch into sugars. The resulting liquid is called wort. The wort is put into very large vats called washbacks. Yeast is then added to aid fermentation, turning it into a liquid that's very like beer and is around 8% alcohol. The barley is removed and this byproduct is called draff, which is reused as fodder for cattle. The resulting liquid is called liquid wash. The next step is to distill the liquid wash to the required alcohol level. This takes place in copper stills. Why are they made of copper? It's because of the way that copper reacts with the vapour, which creates part of the flavour that is characteristic of whisky. Once distilled, the liquid, now called new make spirit, is placed in casks and left to mature. These casks are made from oak and have previously contained another alcohol, for example bourbon, sherry or port. It's the flavours of these alcohols that originally inhabited the casks and the interaction of that seasoned wood with the new make spirit that over time gives the whisky its distinctive colour and flavour. The whisky will remain in cask, maturing, for years, even decades, before being bottled and sold. Unlike wine, whisky does not continue to mature once it's in the bottle.